In this video, I will demonstrate how to install FIDE OS 18.1 with a dual boot setup, which is compatible with both Windows 10 and 11. But before we begin, let me explain what FIDE OS is. FIDE OS is an operating system based on Android, tailored for PCs. It provides a seamless experience for running Android apps on a desktop, boasting a sleek interface and robust features without wasting any time. Let's get started. Before starting the video, let me clarify two important points. First, if you are using a Wi-Fi adapter like me. This operating system may not be suitable for you because my Wi-Fi adapter was not recognized during installation. However, after connecting an Ethernet cable, everything worked fine. Second, this OS only supports GPT systems, so if your drive is on MBR, it will not work on your system. To check your disk partition style, simply open the start menu, search for disk partition, and open it. Then, right-click on the disk, select the properties, and then the volumes to tab to view your disk partition style. Open your browser and search for FIDE OS. Choose the first link, then click on the download and allow all cookies. There are three ISO options available. The first is for Intel 3rd to 7th generation, the second is for 8th to 13th generation or newer, and the last is for AMD processors. Since I have an Intel 8th generation processor, I will select the second option. Here we have three options to start the download. I will choose the recommended one. The download will start immediately. Once the download is complete, search for Rufus. Click on the first link. Scroll down and select the standard version. After downloading both files, close the browser. Then open the start menu, search for disk partition and open it. Right click on the C drive and select shrink volume. Enter the size in MB, I recommend allocating at least 64 GB. Click Shrink. Next, right-click on the unallocated space, click a Next to twice. Enter a name for the new volume. Click a Next, and then Finish. After creating the drive, close the Disk Manager, then open File Explorer, and click on this PC. You should see the drive you created. Next, click on a Download. Right-click on Rufus and select Run as Administrator. Once Rufus is running, insert a pen drive with at least 8 GB of space. Drag and drop the ISO file into Rufus and click Start. The process will take some time to complete. After completion, click e Close. Then, exit the file manager and restart your system. During the restart process, press your boot key, choose the pen drive, and press Enter. Click OK, then you get started. Now, you have two options, if you want to try FIDE OS, select the second option which will boot the OS with the help of your pen drive. If you want to install the OS, select the first option and click Next. Here, you will encounter two more options. The first is full disk installation, which will erase your entire disk, and the second is multi-boot, which is for dual booting. Simply select the second option and click Next. In the first drop-down, select the drive you created for FIDE OS. In the second drop-down, choose the FE drive, and in the last drop-down, go for the recommended option, then click on Install. The installation will begin and may take some time to complete. After the installation is complete, click on Shutdown. Then, remove the installation media and press the power button. Select FIDE OS and press Enter. Click OK, then get started and accept the terms. Choose a Google account and click a Next. Select for personal use and click a Next. Enter your Google account details. Choose your preferred text size and click on Next. Choose theme. I prefer the Lito theme. Uncheck a Join FIDE OS user experience and then click Get Started. To run Android apps and the Play Store, the Android subsystem needs to be initially configured and GApps installed. Click on it, agree to the terms, and then launch. Afterward, close the window, open the Start menu, open the Store and click on to configure G-Apps. Click a Add, Add App, and then Open App. 
agree to the terms, click on next, and then install. Please note, it may take some time to apply changes, restart the system. At the lock screen, enter your Gmail password to unlock it. Open the Play Store and sign in. If an error appears stating this device isn't Play Protect certified, it means you must register your device to use the Play Store. Close the Play Store, open a browser, and search for Device ID app. Proceed with the first link, scroll down, and click on a download. The download will start automatically. Once done, click on Show in Folder, then double-click the app file. To install the app, you must first enable Developer Mode. Open the Start menu, then open Settings, click on FIDE OS Settings, enable Developer Mode, confirm, and restart. After restarting, open the file manager and then open the APK file. If an error appears, click OK and try again. When the installation begins, click Continue, then Reinstall. After installation, click Done, close the file manager, then open your browser and search for Google Uncertified Device Registration. Proceed with the first link. Next, open that starter menu, then the Device ID app, Click on the GSF and copy it. Right-click in the input box and paste the copied ID. Check the box that says I'm not a robot, then click register. Once completed, restart the system again. If the error persists, simply close and try again. Click on a sign in, enter your Google account details, and you'll be able to install any apps and games. In the file manager, you can access all your drives, Now, let me guide you how you can boot into Windows again, open the control center and restart the system. Press the up arrow, select a Windows and press enter. That concludes today's video. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.